What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to take a look at all the roller coasters at Hershey Park and I'm going to rank them. I will not be ranking the water coaster Breaker's Edge because technically it's really not a roller coaster. That being said, we're going to jump right into it. Obviously Coco Cruiser with only 263 feet of track, a top speed of 16 miles an hour and a height of 13 feet. You can pretty much find these at any theme park around the country. Not very thrilling, but definitely a great first coaster for your young rider. Number 13, Wild Mouse. Need I say more, they're at every park. This one, however, is one of the worst ones I've ever been on. It's very janky. Number 12, Jolly Rancher Remix. Hershey Park has done a wonderful job maintaining this thing over the years giving it the new vest restraints for the 2022 season. However, it's still a Vacoma boomerang and they're at every single park and boardwalk and everywhere. So it's not going to rank very high. That being said, this is one of the most comfortable Vacoma boomerangs out of all of them with those vest restraints. You don't get as much head banging, so it's really not as bad as some of the other ones I've been on. Next up, our number 11 coaster, and that would be Trailblazer. Not a great mine train, it's very short, but it's definitely a great first coaster for your young child. Really doesn't do much, pretty much has a helix, and that's about it. It's also pretty slow in comparison to some of the other mine trains. It crawls through the layout. Number 10, Laugh Track. This is basically Hershey Park's secondary wild mouse coaster. However, this one spins, so that adds a cool, unique experience. It's inside, great way to beat some of the heat in the middle of summertime, and I really do like the theming. It's a fairly smooth ride, some of the little hills that they have kind of catch you by surprise, so that's pretty cool. I'll also say that if you're a bigger person, you really want to check out that test seat because if you're over about 5'10", it really kills your knees. Number 9, Comet. This is Hershey Park's oldest roller coaster. They recently added these new trains, and I gotta be honest, I don't really care for them. I also don't care for the trim that they added at the top, making this thing just crawl through. In fact, I think I saw it get stuck up there this year. For that reason, I had to kind of put it down lower than I would have liked to have, but it is a great wooden coaster. My number eight coaster, Super Duper Looper. Pretty much everyone from Hershey's first roller coaster that had a loop. This was my very first looping roller coaster and I didn't even live in Pennsylvania at the time. It's a Schwarzkopf and it was one of Intamin's very first roller coasters that they actually worked on with Schwarzkopf. Other than that, has a pretty forceful loop and a pretty weak layout after that, but still a fun coaster to this day. Number seven, we have Lightning Racer. One of the best true dueling racing coasters out there however as of late it doesn't really duel as much as it seems that thunder always wins i'm hoping that they get this problem resolved and i think they can with a retrack of this thing i would probably have lightning racer sitting ahead of great bear however with it not dueling as much anymore i have great bear sitting at number six and this is one of the better B&M inverts. Has a very short layout, but man, such a unique and quirky layout that it goes over the water. And just the different things that Hershey had to do to really improvise to get this coaster built. Love how it makes that very unique sound as it's flying past you. And B&M and Hershey did this so that it kind of sounded like a bear roaring. I'm not a big fan of any of the B&M inverts, but Great Bear is right up there with Alpengeist for me. It opened in 1998, and it is still a big fan favorite at Hershey Park. Moving on to our number five, and this is where things get interesting. 
We have Fahrenheit, and for good reason. The restraints are terrible. The line and the capacity on this thing are horrendous. But the coaster itself, incredible. Much like a Gerslauer Eurofighter, this thing has an awesome layout, and I absolutely love it. One of my favorite parts has to be the 97 degree drop. There's something about getting to the top of that lift hill. Even though it's not very tall, it still gives you that tingling sensation. Probably my most surprising pick, number four, Candemonium. And as much as I absolutely love this thing, and I mean, I absolutely love this. I've been on just about every hyper coaster in the entire country and Canada. This thing is probably a top three hyper coaster in the world. However, coming up with this list, I wanted to make sure I took everybody else into consideration. And I wanted to make sure I gave everyone the absolute best possible list of the fan favorites at Hershey Park. And which is why I had to put Candemonium at four and Storm Runner at number three. And Storm Runner, rightfully so, deserves this spot. It's one of the only hydraulic launch coasters left, other than a couple of others. There's something to be said about a hydraulic launch versus an LSM launch. I just feel like they're a little bit more forceful. And of course, Storm Runner has some of the best and most unique inversions. I love the Immelman that goes right into the Cobra roll. It's incredible and that's why I had to put this at number three. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to give this video a like and consider subscribing. Of course, number two is Sky Rush. And what would this list be without Sky Rush being either one or two? I love this coaster. However, it's just very short. I'm telling you, I get off this thing and I'm like, give me some more. If it had another thousand feet of track, this would be the best coaster in the world. And that's extremely high praise for me, being the fact that I absolutely love RMC, which is why Wildcat's Revenge is the number one roller coaster at Hershey Park. This thing, this year, is intense. The 2023 season, getting all the kinks worked out, great. This year, I'm telling you what, I got the best ride on this thing the other night it was incredible it flies through that layout unlike any other rmc this thing is intense the entire way through that one airtime hill it just almost tosses you out of that train i want to thank everyone for watching have a great day